Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, today I'm just making a video about um, the putting the K20A2 uh, RSX oil pump on a, um, a K24 block. Uh, specifically, this is a K24A4, which is from the Honda Accord. Um, so there is some modification needed. Um, what I did was I just kind of bought a package deal that gave you all the pieces you needed. Um, I bought it from AFHKparts.com. Um, and so everything, pretty much everything you need comes in the kit. Uh, and I'll just run through that real quick. Um, of course, they give you the K20A2 oil pump. Uh, tube of Honda Bond. They give you all the bolts you'll need for the RSX oil baffle. Um, which, of course, is also included. Um, these are also the other bolts for that. Um, they give you the bolts you need for the oil pump. And they will give you the K20A2 RSX um, oil chain. Um, because you will need that. It is different from the K24 oil chain. And then they give you a chain guide as well. Um, if you look on their website, they will tell you which uh, which K24s require a, uh, the guides and the tensioner. Um, and some of them do, some of them don't. The Accord only, uh, they, like I said, they give you the guide. You don't actually have to have the tensioner because you can reuse your tensioner. Uh, and then, let's see, the other parts, I said this, the bolts. Oh, okay, so uh, that's all the parts. Okay, um, so uh, this is the K20A2 or the RSX oil pump, um, and as you see, that does not quite fit. Um, of course, that has to go into that hole. Um, <clears throat> the, the the Accord oil pump has a little cutout for that, um, and the from what I've read, the um, CRV, uh, the CRV one has a, a flat spot here on the girdle and so you don't actually have to cut it out but on the Accord and the TSX you do have to make this cut out um, so what I did of course was just use a sharpie and I'm gonna get a little Dremel tool in there and cut that chunk out as you see it's just a thin piece of metal just kinda offers some additional support it's not really important um, right here is a little bit of a groove in there um, that's for this to just kinda nestle right in there like that um, so of course you don't have to cut that out um, so anyway you just cut it out go along the bottom and that should be fine with a Dremel tool. Alright, so I got that done. Um, I just used a couple bits on the Dremel tool, or rotary tool, whatever you want to call it. I've always used a Dremel, so that's what I call it. Um, but anyway, so I just cut a chunk here, cut a chunk there, and just cut all the way across. Um, and then I used a grinder wheel to kind of flatten this out a bit, um, and of course make this a bit smoother. Um, I did end up having to take some off right here. Um, they just had like a little lip right there. Um, so I just grinded that down. Um, you know, be careful not to bump anything else while you're grinding that. Um, but I'm sure that was that, that's fine to take off. Um, it's just a little teeny bit that I took off there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so then I ground that smooth and kind of ran that, uh, kind of smoothed it out the transition there. Not that it's really, really important. Um, but then you just line it up just to double check your work. Uh, and then what I did just to make sure I had clearance was to see if I can fit a piece of paper under there. Um, and the piece of paper fits. It gets right up under there. Yeah, it touches, but it doesn't get stopped. Um, so, as you see, that works. It's not the most beautiful thing ever, but hey, whatever, it's going to work. Um, and then, of course, I will have to wash all this really well um, because it's got now metal shavings all over it, which is not something you want in your oil pump. Okay, so when using the K20 A2 oil pump on the A4 or the uh, the K24 block, um, you have to remove this or, or plug this jet right here. Um, this is actually a jet, not a not a plug, which I originally thought it was. Anyway, so I read a tip was to basically put a screw in it, screw it down, and use that to pull it out. Um, in the uh, in the kit they sent, they also give you or include this. Um, and this is what you will use to plug up the hole. Um, some of them, some of these holes are pre-threaded, 
uh, on some of the, the models, the K24 models. Uh, some of them are not. If they're not, then I guess you're going to have to tap um, <clears throat> tap the girdle. I hope you get a tap and die set. Okay, so here is the little plug that I pulled out. It's got a little O-ring on it, a little hole in the bottom. Um, I'm guessing you could actually punch it out from the other side. Um, it appears you can, um, as long as you get it right dead in the center. Um, as you see, I kind of got off center with mine. Um, so I just had to put the screw in the top and pop it out like that. Um, of course, my luck, I do not have threads in here. So I will have to tap that hole. Um, again, this is the bolt. It doesn't look like it gets a whole lot of thread contact once it gets in there. But nonetheless, uh, I'm going to figure out what thread this is and the pitch and everything. And then I'm going to tap the hole. Alright, well, the thread that I used was a M8 by 1.25, um, and I just tapped that hole there. Um, whenever you go for the final assembly, I'm not doing the final assembly right now, because um, I do not have all my parts in, I'm still waiting on pistons and rods. Um, but anyways, you will put some Honda Bond on these threads before you screw it in, um, and, and just screw that down. If you do not put this bolt in, if you do not put a bolt or something to block that hole, uh, something that stays in uh, that won't end up in your oil pan um, Then you will not have enough oil pressure. You will lose a ton of oil pressure out of that hole Even if you just leave that little jet in there, you will lose a lot of oil pressure um, So they say make sure you do that um, And you know just stay tuned and subscribe and eventually I will get to the point where I have <coughs> I have all my parts together and I can assemble the whole build um, It'll be a K20 A2 slash K20 a4 build with, um, I believe I'm going to go with 10.2 to 1 compression ratio. Uh, of, course it, of course it's a turbo build. Um, so just give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and of course subscribe if you want more. Thank you.